Hey everybody, so today, as you can tell, um, I don't know if you know about the colander pours, but I have this little sink drain colander right here, and I am going to attempt to do this. So, I have a whole bunch of colors. Um, I'm going to stick with the colors I've been using, and then I have some new colors that I am going to put in with it. So, I'm going to layer my cup. I'm not going to use any white in here because I, I don't really have any other white. All of my white is in this bottle right here and it's all kind of a little bit too thin for what I want to do. So let me open this Capri Sun real quick and I will get to um, layering my cup, showing y'all my colors and layering my cup. Um, so any noise that you hear, I have two daughters and a dog. Those are the noises that you will be hearing today. Say hey, bye, Mama. So, here we go. So, I have my little tiny cup right here, and I'm about to fill it up. I have um, this Bordeaux Red by Arteza. It's very pretty. So, um, all of my paints make, I don't know if you can see it, guys. Um, I don't have the best equipment. All of my paints make a very small little traceable line in here. That's the consistency that I'm using. Um, it doesn't disappear right away um, and within a few seconds of me putting it in there. So the Bordeaux Red, we have the Magenta Light by Arteza. Um, some Green Yellow or Yellow Green by Arteza. Some Phthalo Blue also by Arteza and some Payne's Gray by Arteza. Oh, then, by Arteza. yes, then we have the um, extra sheen we have the 24 karat gold the aquamarine blue and the amethyst purple all of this is going to go into this cup right here i'm on a 12 by 12 canvas i did not do any prep to it so there's no base coat or anything it's just a plain canvas we're going to get started here i think um because i'm going to do it as a darker contrast rather than a lighter we're going to start with the Payne's Gray right here. So Payne's Gray. Let's do something a little bit lighter. So we're going to go with the Amethyst. And I'm kind of trying to pour it down the side. No, I cannot. Not right now. And I'm going side to side here. So there will be two puddles of this on each side. Give me just a second, guys. I'll be right back. Let me... Get my child the rest of this yogurt out of the <laughs> tube. Stuff on it so it don't come out. There. Okay. So I did the purple. Let's come in with some of this yellow green into the purple right here on either side of it. So some green in there. We're gonna go with a bit. Let's go ahead and do the aquamarine on this um, side. What's clay? Aquamarine, what's some right clay? here. Tia, baby, it's just stuff that you use to make sculptures. Oh. So, I want to pretend that my play is clay. Okay, it is, essentially. Wait, it's clay? Yes. But it's not clay. Okay. Can we play with clay? Yes. Hold on just a second, please. Put some magenta down here. You can just pause. Shh. I cannot just pause. Why? Because that's not how it works. That's not okay. how life works. Yes. Let me open this up, guys. Please excuse all of the interruptions from my children that have decided they want to play with play doh while I do this. Yes. Yeah. yes, hurry up. Thank you. Yes. You're welcome. Now, okay, please be quiet. Thank you. So, now we will do the Bordeaux Red on top of the Magenta Light. And then we'll go back to another side. I'm going to have a lot of colors in this. I'm hoping that it's going to turn out as well as I would like it to. It might be a little bit on the muddier side. I also have magenta on my canvas and I didn't know it. So we'll magenta. have to that. Put some of that there. Let me open another Play-Doh. So I'm trying to do um, kind of a dark on light. 
look so I don't want too many light colors all in one area and I don't want too many dark colors all in one area. Let me scrape this off some. Hold on guys. So there'll be this big pink chunk but hopefully you won't see it because it should all be covered by all of this paint. So we're going to come back to this side right here. I have not done my phthalo blue yet so we'll go ahead and put some phthalo blue over here on top of this green and then we'll probably do green again down the side here. I'm going to kind of try to get at least two layers of each color. Not 100% sure that I will um, just because. So just going to keep layering this cup. It'll take a minute. I know that this is not the most exciting part of the whole thing. So that was layer number one. We're going to start with a layer of Payne's Gray back on the bottom. Just like this, trying to cover everything up. Here, give it to me. Okay, so I did the amethyst on either side right here. I don't remember what I put. Oh, I didn't do the gold yet. We'll do a big layer of gold at the top. Thank you, I love you. Amethyst. I got the lime green on either side. See? We might do the gold like with the phthalo clay. blue this time. And I like the clay. So did that, and we did the aquamarine. I don't remember what we did on the aquamarine, the magenta, I think. I make it. Um, I I don't remember what we did. I'm guessing that it had to have been the magenta. You did the magenta. Then the Bordeaux. I'm gonna do the phthalo. Mama, you did the magenta. doesn't like me very well. Mm -hmm. And the Bordeaux over top of that. Yeah, you can have the purple plate. Right? I didn't get it. Bordeaux over top oh, of that. Um, and then I'll probably do another pour in a little while and video it with what I have left because I'm going to have a good bit of paint left. I will probably have uh, way more than enough paint on this fella right here. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna put some dots of gold on top of the phthalo blue, but then I'm just gonna cover the whole thing with the gold as well, because I forgot about my gold and it's my favorite. So let's go ahead and just kind of fill the rest of the cup up right here. So here is my cup. Very full cup, <laughs> has a lot going on there. Um, I'm going to try and make this as centered as possible and then we're just going to kind of slowly, as slowly as I can, we're just going to pour all of this beautiful, beautiful color out and onto this canvas in a very slow circular motion. I'm not 100% sure how this is going to turn out guys. I've done a couple of colander pours and they never, ever, ever hold their shape. Uh, no matter how thick I make the paint, for whatever reason, they just never hold that pretty detail. Um, I'm not sure this will either, but we're gonna try. And at any rate, with that beautiful sheen from the gold that just keeps coming, it's going to make for a very pretty pour, no matter what. Well, I'm making the same like you are. So all of this is going to keep going, keep going. I know that it's not that great. It's very boring, I'm sure. So I am thinking that my paints are probably a little bit too thin. Just from the way that this is pouring out in general. But we're going to keep going. We're almost done here. And voila, yeah. the cup is pretty cool we looking though, like, regardless. So not, now here comes the moment of truth. It's already I'm spilling off the sides. 
because I have just so much paint and apparently it's not quite in the middle. Very slowly. Today we're making um, clay sculptures made out of clay. First we gotta take... First so it totally didn't hold up very well. The middle is there but it's very small. First we had to cut out the bars. Oh look y'all I just got paint all in my hair. I'm just wonderful like that. Yay. Give me a second, guys, while this develops some more. I'm gonna have to wash my hands. Water right into the sink, everybody. Just me washing out my hair. Cause I'm busy. And then, and just get some more to play. Okay, now that my hair is now officially paint free. So it's got some really pretty cells developing, I see. Over Mom, here. So we did a live video too, but the Okay, Kaylee. So even if um, nothing comes of the actual calendar part itself, it's still a, a really pretty pour. I'm going to kind of try to get my brains out the way this time. So I'm kind of trying to tie them up real quick. Okay, so. I really, there we go. Want these bubbles to pop. So. Um, it looks like it's not going to you make stay together, but the little metal part, it's really, really pretty. So I'm just going to kind of go slow and see if I can't get it to stay held together. I want it to stretch a bit, so I'm kind of trying, and let's bring it back to center. These cells are amazing. Bring it back to center here, and then we're gonna slowly just keep pulling it towards the corners um, and off the sides. It's a little bit darker than I wanted it to be. I guess I underestimated the paint spray. It kind of really took over. Maybe I should have just done one layer of the paint spray. Once again, we're just gonna slowly pour this off. Slowly, 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 slowly. Back to center. So the middle is kind of cool looking. It's kind of a cool looking piece. Um, I know that y'all probably can't really see me tilting. Here, I'll try to turn it some so maybe you can see it better. And I can tilt it this way again, like I was just a minute ago. Here we go. Now, so bringing it slowly, slowly, slowly back to the center, trying to keep all of these cells preserved. The center of the piece is actually really pretty awesome looking. And then all these cells on the outside that just keep growing are also very nice. So I'm just kind of trying to get all of my bases covered here, all of my corners and my edges um, just slow run off. Hey, that's the end of our video. And then we're gonna bring it yeah, back. Yeah, that's the end of the video. We're going to um, comment down below to see if we'll just. And we're gonna go bring it back over here. Right? Okay. Hi, welcome to our next video. It, um, so it's, it, it's definitely different. I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's not as contrasting as I would have liked with the brighter colors on the paint gray. I do really like all of the shine. Please excuse my very loud children, guys. I'm sorry. So, um, today we're going So, it, it, it's kind of cool. We're just going to keep kind of tilting until I can get all my bases covered. I'll go ahead and flip this back this to make it over for y'all to see okay, what I'm doing. I'm trying to kind of cover this corner over here. Alright, so we'll flip it again and we'll stretch it some more onto these corners. Okay, let's get started. Like I said, it's it's definitely different. Um, Not e exactly what I'm used to doing. Very full of cells. Much more than I was expecting. It's really cool looking, um, almost cave-like is what it reminds me of. I don't know how many of you guys have had the chance to go to Ruby Falls in Chattanooga, Tennessee, but this kind of makes me think of our trip. No, ma'am. 
Then who are those people? It's just people, baby. But why did you say um? Because that's what this kind of reminds me of. Okay, so now I'm just going to add some paint onto these edges Can down I here see? that aren't we covered very well. Hold on, you two. Let's get all of this covered. Get this part down here covered. Well, it's not necessarily Ruby Falls. It just kind of makes me think of Ruby Falls. Because it gets the beautiful of the caves. Yeah, it's, it's all the different, you know how the, the falls were all different colors? Yeah. When they did the light show? Well, that's kind of what it reminds me of. I, I just want to and it's storming here too, you guys. So it kind of has that, no, it doesn't. that stormy vibe. So I really like, um, there's some really cool cells up throughout here that are smaller, some smaller yeah. pearls. And then I like the fact that this this gold just kind of globbed up in the middle. I don't want to point out too much because my hands are full of paint. So let me wash those real quick and I will bring you guys down to see what we have made here. Um, I need to touch up a few more parts, which I will do after the video. There's a few edges that need a little bit of cleaning. They're still dripping some, so we'll do that. At the end of the video, clean everything up. And then, um, soon, I'm going to do a video for you guys that's all of my dry results, um, everything okay, dry. There's at and least I'm one of them that I've varnished already, uh, my 8x10 balloon smash. Oh, I used this some dragonfly bulk like art blades, and it's super cool it? because it's glitter. Okay, so this is the end of the video. Bye. Hey, okay. hey, you too. Yeah, all right, guys. I'm gonna bring you down. I'm gonna have a little bit of difficulty okay, because I am trying to have a better angle on my camera, so it's kind of way up. And we're gonna go ahead and turn off this light so y'all be able to see it a little bit better. And then excuse any fingers or hands that you see. All right, here we go. So here is the end result of the colander pour. So this is the center. Um, you know, it obviously started out a lot smaller. This is how we got. This is what we got. This is where it came. I really particularly like these small little pearl-like cells right here. My phone doesn't want to focus on them. There we go. So it's super pretty. I like this up here in the corner um, with the magenta and the purple and the Payne's gray all mixed together. It gives it that inner glow kind of feel. And I just, I like the fact that all of the, the phthalo blue and, and um, aquamarine are coming in through these cells. Some of the yellow green is coming in through these cells. Then, of course, the gold, 24 karat gold, has given everything a beautiful shine. And then where it hasn't, you know, there's some, some little lines here um, with the lacing from the gold and the cells that give a really nice sheen just in that particular area. So it looks like rocks to me. So that's what makes me think of a cave. So very, very pretty. And then we have this one random, very bright magenta cell popping up right there. There's a couple of those. There's a couple of aquamarine that are coming up. So we'll see. Um, I'll show y'all the dried result on Facebook tomorrow when it's all ready. And there we go. There is our newest painting, a colander pour. It, I think I'm going to call it Dragon Scales. Bye, guys. Thank y'all for watching this one. And I hope that um, the video was a little bit better as far as seeing the things that I was doing. So, thanks everybody.